Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. Mm, somebody's missing the way that you make them feel. They're missing your energy. They're missing your vibe. Vulnerability. This is maybe somebody that um, had a hard time trusting you or this connection. They had a hard time opening up, being emotionally vulnerable. But... I feel like this person's coming to the realization that they can open up to you. Or it's like this person's getting in this energy where they're more willing to open their heart to you. This person maybe is starting to trust you more. Or to trust this connection more. Um, but we have red, don't dismiss the red flags. You and this person could definitely have an energetic connection. Music could be significant to the connection. A lot of songs remind this person of, of you. Things remind this person of you. <clears throat> this you guys are maybe dealing with the don't dismiss the red flags here you guys were dealing with somebody that was emotionally unavailable all right they could have been emotionally unavailable and that was a red flag there may have been other things that were a little bit alarming or a little bit concerning about this person yeah it's like hmm i am not available yeah this person wasn't emotionally available for some of you this person was already involved with somebody else all right they were already in a connection, already in a relationship. Or they maybe um, were still, they weren't over another person. But there's some type of spiritual, this is like some type of, there is some type of spiritual aspect to this connection. There is some type of spiritual lesson to be learned from this situation. So we have new love here. So either there, we do have, we need to let each other go. So you guys could be in the process of trying to let this person go and trying to pursue new love. Or that's what they are doing at this time. If it's not that, then it could be a recommitment because we it's, I see her. I want to feel that way again. So maybe either this is somebody that wants to feel, feel that new love uh, feeling again. So maybe they're trying to, you know, look for new love or um, somebody's missing the way that you make them feel. So they're wanting to maybe bring the situation back together. We, we do have on the back of the deck, you were the best thing in my life. So somebody's realizing just how valuable you were to them after there was some type of ending in this connection. All right, so tell me more about this. Tell me more about I want to feel that way again. We have support. It's like this, I feel like this person doesn't have you to lean on anymore or you don't have this person to lean on at this time. Um, so you guys could be leaning on your friends, your inner circle, your family, those close to you, or that's what they're doing at this time. Okay. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me about vulnerability. Tell me more about vulnerability for this situation. Ooh, we have interference here. So the reason why this person was unable to open up to you is because there was somebody else involved here. So this is somebody that didn't have the, couldn't open up to you emotionally or invest in you emotionally because it looks like maybe they were invested in somebody else emotionally or there was just some type of third party blockage that was keeping this person maybe something from the past as well. All right, tell me about warning. What tell me more about these red flags? So I feel like I know I mentioned already that it was like somebody had a hard time trusting this connection. All right, it's like They didn't understand this connection. I feel like, guys, when you meet somebody that you have a soul connection with, when you have that deep connection with another person, um, if that's not something you've ever had, you've ever experienced, or if you're not very spiritually evolved, uh, when you encounter a relationship like that that has that intensity, um, that can be alarming. That can look like a red flag or feel like a red flag. You know what I mean? That can tr be triggering to encounter something like that. But it's like somebody. Is, tr is starting to understand what this connection is. It's like, this was a very intense connection. Oh my goodness, guys, you can't hear my baby crying in the, he's taken care of, don't worry about him. He's all right. Um, it's like this person didn't understand this connection. Like, it's like, the, it was very intense. It was unlike anything they had ever experienced before. And I feel like it almost, it triggered this person. Then with the spiritual lesson card here, it's like, it maybe even triggered like a spiritual awakening or has triggered this person to grow. 
and that's triggering sometimes, you know what I mean? But I do see that this person is feeling very nostalgic about you, very, um, what's the word? It's like, they do want to tell you how they feel. I feel like this person was maybe hard, having a hard time telling you how you how they felt about you. Um, yeah, because look at this, guys. We have, I regret lying to you. They regret lying to you about their true feelings here. They, this person has never told you how they truly feel. And this person honestly couldn't even, they maybe not did not even understand how they were actually feeling about you. Okay? We have new love here. So tell me more about new love. Unavailable. So I feel like you guys are maybe trying to manifest new love into your life or moving on now because you feel like this person's not able to give you what it is that you deserve. So I feel like you guys are moving on to new and maybe leaning on your friends at this time because you don't have this person to lean on anymore. You're just realizing you can never depend on this person. They're undependable. They're wishy-washy. But I just think you're coming to the realization that this person does not have the ability to, to give you what it is that you desire from another person or in a relationship. And you guys are maybe trying to manifest new love. Okay, so we need to let each other go. So I feel like you're maybe trying to release this person or move on from them. Or you guys are both trying to release each other. <laughs> so maybe this person told you that, you know, it was best for you guys to let each other go. Or you maybe told this person that it was best that you guys part ways. But somebody is wishing is wishing that they could take back something that they said. So if you told this person that you, you know... You think it's better that you guys split up, that you guys not be together? You guys could be regretting it, or if they said that to you, they are regretting saying that to you. I want to know more about that. I wish I could take back my words. We have acceptance. Spirit says that everything that, the way that everything has played out, the words that were said, the conversations that were had, everything that has played out happened the way that it was supposed to. Everything that has happened has happened for a reason. Okay, so tell me about what was that reason. Can you tell me more about what the reason was for why everything played out the way that it did? Because somebody really needed to, um, you and this person were both in need of some healing. So if you and this person are apart, if you guys made the decision to split up, Spirit said that was for the best because there are old wounds. There could be childhood issues that need to be revisited and healed, dealt with. That, and that could be a big blockage uh or interference in this connection okay so i am not available tell me more about i am not available yeah this person's not emotionally available or available to you they're not making themselves available they're not speaking to you they're not showing up for you they're not opening up for you or being vulnerable opening up to you or being vulnerable because this person is taking this so if this person has pulled back from you or if you've pulled back from this person um it's because somebody's taking some time to heal they're taking some time to recuperate, and that's necessary. Spirit says that is necessary. All right, so tell me more about spiritual lesson. We have patience. So there's lessons being learned here. All right, there are spiritual lessons being learned, and Spirit says that you need to have patience. This is a process that can't be rushed, um, and everything is going to unfold in divine timing in this situation. And it says, I will wait for a sign from you. So somebody is waiting until... Somebody is trying to wait until maybe they feel like you're more like, let's, let's get some more clarity on that. Let's see here. Release. So somebody's maybe waiting until they feel like you're over something that has happened between the, or somebody's waiting until they feel that somebody has released something or moved on from something. Gotten over something. They're waiting for a sign that somebody has released or gotten over something here. Okay. So let's do more one, one more round of cards. So tell me more about what do I want to let's talk more about interference. Tell me more about this. Do you have an apology? So if somebody wants to apologize to you for letting other people or other situations intrude on your um connect on your connection. Okay. They're gonna come in with some type of apology here. Um tell me more about I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm becoming a better person. This connection has brought is bringing out the best in this person or bringing out the best in both of you. Okay. This connection or meeting you, encountering you has triggered this person to start working on themselves, to grow, to elevate, to ascend. Okay. So what did this person, tell me more about what this person lied to you about. I feel like it's their feelings. Yeah. This person's been hiding their feelings. They maybe lied to you. Like maybe they said that they, they couldn't meet up with you or spend time with you because they had to work. Maybe they're saying that the reason that they can't move this connection forward is because they're having money issues. They've been hiding. They've been hiding or you, they've been making excuses. Tell me more about this. 
I know I messed everything up. So this person could have been more too concerned about money or uh, material things than, you know, what they should have been, you know, worried about. All right, let's get one more card about that. I know I messed up everything. We have marriage. This person is realizing that you guys, the connection that you guys share, you guys could, you could have potentially ended up being their husband or their wife. That there's something very unique and spiritual about your connection. All right, so give me one more card. What does this mean for my collective? I wish I could share my good news with you. Tell me more about that. Abundance. So somebody has had something improve in their finances or somebody wants to share with you that they've received some type of raise. They've gotten a new job with a better pay. They've, they've had some type of windfall of money. Some type of abundance has come into their life and they want to tell you that. Something that they have been working on is going to come to fruition and they wish that they could tell you that. Um, tell me more about unavailable and new love. Yeah, I will wait for a sign from you. There's that again. So tell me more about that. Children. What about children? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Hmm. What about that? Passion. They're waiting for a sign about what? Retreat. So some of you guys have like completely pulled back. You maybe have gone into hermit mode. Some of you guys are really, um, somebody's going into hermit mode and maybe focusing on their children or focusing on some inner child healing, some childhood wounds. We're focused on healing some childhood wounds. Somebody has retreated to heal and recharge here. And maybe that's why you and this person are not speaking. Okay, so they're waiting on a sign from you because they feel like you have retreated or you've gone into hermit mode. All right. Um, it's like this person has had some type of awakening about this connection. They've learned, to, they're going to be realizing what the spiritual lesson is, or they're going to be having some type of epiphany about this connection. And it's going to want, it's going to make them, it's like, I feel like when you and this person do start speaking again, they're going to want to take some type of leap of faith. They're going to, they're going to be courageous. They're going to want to do something that they've never done before. Okay. It's like you and this person need some, need it some time apart so that you can both gain clarity about this connection. So tell me more about passion. Yes. True love. Somebody is realizing that this is true love between the two of you. This person's they realize they realize that they're never going to stop loving you. This is unconditional love. And they're going to do something that they would normally not do. This is somebody that takes life too seriously. Like their life could be all work, no play, but I feel like this person's going to start trying to make more time to do things that make them happy or try to make more time for you. And I feel like being with you does make this person happy. All right? So tell me more about patience. What am I does my collective need to be patient with? You need to be patient with this person revealing their true feelings to you or their, their true self to you because this person's been hiding their true self or their true feelings. Finding out the truth crushed me. What truth? Twin flame. That you are their person, that this is a divine connection. What about this? Integrity. Just being near you is intoxicating. Why doesn't this one of morals? What is this? Rejection. What crushed somebody, what crushed different pages that you guys didn't want the same things or that you guys didn't want the same thing for the future? Or like it crushed somebody that you guys were on the same page. So tell me more about Twin Flame. Go slow. Somebody is awakening that this connection, it's like they, this. you guys were on the same page, but somebody didn't know it yet. It's like somebody had, had yet to awaken to this connection. And that's why they were not on the same page as you. They felt that there was something different about this, but they didn't understand. But Spirit is saying that this person's going to, they do understand what this connection is. And they're going to like take the, put the time and the energy into getting, that they want to get to know you better, get closer to you. And they want to take their time with it. Okay. This person could have, re you guys could have felt rejected because this person just didn't seem like they wanted the same things as you. Okay. This person could have. You, you guys could have wanted commitment. 
You guys could have wanted to settle down, be a family, move this connection along. And this person, at this, at, when you guys last spoke, they didn't want that or it came across that way. And it felt like a rejection. All right. Um, and you guys may also, it's like this person is very passionate about you. They have a lot of sexual attraction to you. But you guys, it's like something about like, you guys didn't feel like this aligned with your morals. Like you're not going to give your body, you're not going to give your body or be intimate with somebody that won't commit to you or that doesn't see a future with you. Or there was something like that. Like you guys just weren't feeling that. Maybe they felt rejected about that too because you guys had set certain standards for this person and they they were all for maybe being intimate with you but you guys were like no if you want to be intimate then you got to do this this and this for me it's like and i don't this person felt rejected you guys could have felt rejected because they didn't want the same things yeah look at this i know that i crossed the line with you so this person knows that they did something that was unacceptable okay they did something that was unacceptable so guys what did i just say Strictly sexual, this connection is a passionate but not enduring. So this person maybe wanted to be friends with benefits. They wanted to keep stringing you along. They wanted to keep maybe sleeping with you or they wanted to keep having passion with you. Something very surface level, not deep and intimate. And you guys were just not going for that anymore. You guys were like, no, if you're not going to dig deep, you know, want to dig deeper into this connection, we'll have something, want to have something more with me. No, we're not being intimate. But there's something about timing here. The timing has been off for you and this person, but they do regret what they've done to you. They do regret the way they have treated you. Okay, so let's see what the future looks like. What does the future look like? <laughs> I told you, this person's going to want to come in and take things slow. They're still going to be a little bit apprehensive or feeling a little bit, a little bit guarded or just feeling like they don't want to rush into anything. Um, but they are going to want you guys to get closer, get to know, get to know each other better, spend time with you, but they just want to take their time. So within, I see this person coming in within six months. All right. Sometime maybe by this end of summer, this person has issues with commitment and it could stem from something that happened in their childhood. It could be that they watched their parents have a failed marriage or relationship. It could be just that they're dealing with some type of childhood trauma or there's some type of past experience. Maybe it's from a relationship that they were, were in in the past. It's like this person's commitment issues are going to go away once you guys release them. Once you guys release them and you guys are opening up yourself to new love, that's when this is going to trigger some type of shift in this situation. This person's going to feel that. I think I mentioned that you and this person maybe have an energetic connection. They're going to feel when you're opening yourself up or you're like you're moving away from them and you're opening yourself up to other possibilities. And then that's when this person's commi commitment issues are going to disappear into thin air. Okay, like <laughs> this person doesn't want to miss out on you. Yeah, look at this. Exactly what I'm saying. It says when you guys start keep start, you guys open your mind. Two, it says keep an open mind while looking for love. This is what, and it says the month of February. There's something about your mindset that's changing this month. You guys are opening yourself up to new love or to other possibilities. You guys could have had your mind set on this person, but they show, you guys are feeling at this time that they're not able to give you what you deserve. Okay, so I feel like you guys are looking for new love or opening yourself up to the idea of someone new or somebody else being your person. And we have February here. So it's something that's happening this month. You guys are opening yourself up to possibilities and it's going to create a shift in this situation. And then this person's going to, their commitment issues are going to disappear. I'm telling you, then they're going to want to come in and commit to you. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Then they're going to, it's like, it's going to make this person have an epiphany. This person's going to feel you moving away from them. They're going to feel that you're maybe talking to other people. They may see you dating other people. And it's like, they're going to have this realization about this relationship okay they're gonna have this realization about this relationship that this is true love okay that they do love you but it look at what this says guys exactly what i said they realized they loved you after they lost you now feeling regretful a surprise is coming th coming soon what's gonna surprise you guys is that this person's coming in being all committal and wanting to move this collection collection moving this connection along when in the past they weren't they had to make some type of difficult decision 
They maybe were trying to choose between you and another person or maybe you and being single, you and another path. And there were pluses in both situations or both paths, both people. And this person was stuck in, in indecision. So you could have been dealing with somebody that couldn't make up their mind between you and another person. Okay. And it says when you stop obsessing, I'm telling you guys, it's when you pull your energy away from this person. When you open yourself up, when you when this, this person's going to be able to feel that you guys are distributing distributing your energy in other places because they're not going to feel you as strong that's why we had the first card out of the deck was i want to feel that way again they're not going to be able to feel you as much anymore they're going to feel that void and it's going to knock some clarity or sense into them i'm telling you all right guys yeah because this person was in denial this person is not they refuse to believe that this is over between the two of you like they refuse to believe that this is over between the two of you also, somebody was holding on to a past situation that failed. It could have been them watching that their parents' marriage didn't work out. It could have been a relationship that they were in that didn't work out. They were having a hard time getting over that situation, and that was causing a lot of blockages and stagnancy, okay? But I feel like this person's in a place where they're ready to let that go, okay? It says, doesn't have the same awareness of the connection, can't rush the process. That has already came on. So it's like when you guys, it's time to focus on yourself. When you guys start focusing on yourself, they're going to have an awakening, guys. I'm telling you, they're going to have an awakening about this relationship, this connection about you, about how they feel about you. This was a process that couldn't be rushed. I know some of you guys are like, wow, this has been a long, tiring journey with this person. Spirit says it had to happen this way. All right, but we have here forbidden fruit. It says they see your glow up, intrigued by this new you. They're going to be feeling like something's different about you. They're going to be seeing you looking good. They're going to be seeing you do well for yourself. And they're going to feel like you are, have moved on from them. You've moved on to somebody new. And now they're going to want you back in their life. All right, it says spontaneous act. This person, sorry guys, excuse me. This person's going to catch you off guard. You're not going to be expecting this when this person comes in. Because I feel like you guys are going to be focused on other things. You guys are going to be focused on, you guys are going to leave, you're, you guys are leaving this person behind. You feel like that's what's best, at least for right now. And I feel like when this person comes in, you're not going to be expecting it. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice about the situation. To wrap it up. Hi, Valerie. All right, let's get a couple pieces of advice for you guys. We have waiting. It says while you're, so this is somebody that could have kept you waiting or you guys have been waiting for this person for quite some time. And then you guys realize that this person was unable to give you what you deserve. So I feel like you guys are done waiting and you guys are trying to manifest new love into your life. It says while you're waiting, ask yourself if they're really worth your time. It's like you guys are realizing this person isn't worth your time. And risking missing out on other amazing pe people. You're like, I may be missing out on my husband or my wife. Folk waiting on this person that is hasn't changed. It's been years and they are not changing. They're not trying to grow. They're still not willing to commit to me. What am I waiting for this person for? I'm going to manifest new love now. And I'm going to leave this person behind. We have old fashioned here. It says, babe, the old school love wins. Don't try to rush the process. So that keeps coming through, guys. Spirit says that you guys maybe are a little bit trying to move this connection along a little bit too fast. Or they're just saying, take your time with this. All right. Um, it takes time to build a real solid and healthy relationship. Give him time. So I know you guys are probably like, I've already given this person a whole lot of time. I've given them years. I've given them months. Spirit's not saying you guys have free will. You don't have to wait for this person. You don't have to give them any more chances. You don't have to even ever speak to them or see them ever again. But Spirit says that. For those of you that still do desire to be with this person, but just know that right now is not the time and you're keeping your options open, Spirit says that if you and this person are able to successfully come together, um, that by the time when you guys do, you guys are going to have built such a solid foundation that it will all be like, it will, will have been worth it, okay? Um, look at this. We have play the field. Don't get so hung up on him. Go play the field. Yeah, you guys have been loyal to this person. You haven't been stuck on them. You haven't even been giving other men or women a chance because you've been stuck on this person. It says flirt, flirt, and flirt some more. Don't wait for things to happen. Make it happen, babe. Exactly. All right, let's get one more. 
and it's <laughs> guys i cannot deal it says it's not over don't turn your back on love love isn't easy not for anyone you can't push it away because there's a few bad apples keep fighting so spirit is saying that for some of you they're saying that this relationship with you and this person isn't over okay um but for some of you, they're saying just because things didn't work out with this person doesn't mean that you won't ever find your true love or you won't ever find your person. All right. Don't don't start being pessimistic about love because things didn't work out in this situation yet or at all. And then we have on the back of the deck, be vulnerable. All right. It says allow them to see your true feelings. Being vulnerable is the only way to allow your heart to experience true pleasure. Dare to love openly. So, yeah, spirit saying don't let this situation where somebody maybe took advantage of your vulnerability um close you off to being vulnerable and open and showing people your heart in the future okay yeah spirit says pour yourself into your goals pour yourself into you, your passions your your uh your uh hobbies your job it says this is not the time to focus on love babe set your goals and crush them love will find you when you least expect it so don't go searching for it mm, you guys could have some jealous people around you it's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only have negative things to say when they know nothing about you. So there's some people talking about you that don't even know you or even know what they're talking about. There could be a lot of talk about you or about your situation. Spirit says don't try to, you know, try to just make sure you guys are focusing on self-care, self-love, and enjoying your life. Doing the things that make you happy. Okay? So... This is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading helped you guys. I hope that this reading helped you guys.